There are some commands that you'll find in AutoCAD for Mac that you won't find in AutoCAD for Windows. The Quick View command is one of them, and I must admit, I've really become attached to using it. Quick View displays all the open drawings as well as the layouts of all the open drawings, all in one easy to use dialog box. Let's take a look. The easiest way to get to Quick View is from the status bar. Simply select the icon at the far left end of the status bar, and this is going to take you into the wonderful Quick View. Now, on the left hand side of Quick View, you'll find all of the open drawings. On the right hand side, you'll find the layouts that go with those drawings. One of the things I like the most about Quick View is that it's very easy to jump to a different layout and a different drawing just by clicking on it. Right, let's go back into Quick View and take a look at some of the other things that we can do. Now, if you just want to have the open drawings displayed and not the layout, simply select the options from the upper right hand corner of the dialog box and pick Hide Layouts. This comes in handy if you have quite a few open drawings at one time. Let's put those back. We want to actually see the layouts inside of Quick View. If I do a right click on any drawing, you'll see that you can save that drawing, you can close that drawing, you can do a close all for all of the drawings, which is probably the fastest way to get all of your drawings shut down if you ask me. You can duplicate that drawing which really does a save as and you can create a new layout in that particular drawing. If you right click on one of the layouts you'll find that you can rename it, you can duplicate it. Let me do a duplicate really fast just so you can see what happens is it makes another layout just like this one. You know you can give it whatever name that you want to. I'll just call it a new layout just so we can keep track of it. And you'll see it looks just like the one that I duplicated. On the other hand, if I do a right click and say create new layout, so this just makes one from scratch, right? Using the defaults that you have set up inside of your drawing. So let's call this one a layout from scratch. And here's our new layout down here. Now I want you to notice I'm currently in this layout over here, right? I'm going to select ground plan over here. I'm going to do a right click and I want you to notice that as soon as I do a right click to access the shortcut menu behind the scenes you're going to actually see that it switches you to that particular layout so that's something that you should keep in mind. Now you can rename a layout from here from the shortcut menu but you can also modify it directly. For example here's a spelling error simply double click on the text and you can modify it directly. So of course it's easy to print a layout from the shortcut menu, but you'll also find that you can hold down the shift key and select multiple viewports, or you can do a command A to select all of the viewports, and you might want to remove model space, right? So I'm going to hold the shift key down and remove that, and then you'll find that a right click will allow you to very easily print multiple layouts at one time. And as far as I can tell, this is the fastest and easiest way to print multiple layouts inside of AutoCAD for Mac. It's easy to delete a layout, simply select that layout, give it just a quick second to switch over, do a right click, and then simply hit delete. It's going to give you a warning, making sure that that's absolutely what you want to do. Go ahead and hit OK and it will remove it from your layouts. One last thing I want to show you, if you go up to Options, you'll see that you can also create a new layout from a template file. Now I happen to have a template file that has a couple of layouts in them that I'd like to add to my existing drawing. Now this of course just has the layout set up, right? So I'm going to go ahead and select that particular template file and it will ask you which of the layouts you want to add. I'm going to add in the front view. And this will actually kick you out of Quick View, which is fine, but you will see if I go back in that it did in fact add that new layout to my drawing file. All right, let's leave Quick View. I'm just going to show you one more thing. I mentioned to you that of course you can get to Quick View from the status bar, but you can also type it in. If you like to type, you'll notice that I happen to have my autocomplete working, so it went ahead and executed that for me. And you can also, top secret, type in just QView, not documented. I don't know why it's not documented, but it's shorter, so that's the route I like to take when I feel like keying it in. So as I mentioned, this tool is a great addition to AutoCAD. Be sure to try Quick View out for yourself. It's a super speedy way to move from one open drawing to another.